Deacon Jones, Deacon Jones said I, was, I would cry. You bet your life I'm gonna cry. You bet your life I'm gonna cry. You bet your life I will. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. It ain't this and that. This and that. There's a lot of people who've traveled this with me. It's been a long time. Most special of them all. It's my parents. Both of my parents are deceased. They're the most special of them all. Because I'm not here. I'm not here if they wasn't here first. My dad, my dad, Leonard Green, Leonard Green Sr. Everybody said, you're too little, you can't do it. He said, boy, you can run that ball. They said no. He said go. The best encouragement you can ever get in life is when a dad encourages his son. Encourage your son. That's what he did for us. I sure like to have a drum roll right now because I'm going to talk about the greatest mother in the world. Am I gonna cry? You gotta be kidding me. You don't know my mom and daddy. Gloria Green, baby. Gloria Green. She told me a story one day. I was about 10 years old. She said, you know, the day you were born, I was in the room there and they had me up on these things and Nothing was happening, you weren't doing anything, and everybody left out of the room maybe 20, 30 minutes. And all of a sudden she heard a scream. Somebody said, catch that baby! She said, you're about to hit the ground. When I got in the football, she said, don't let them big boys hurt you now. Remember the first day you were born. My parents were the best. My parents were the best. They were the best. To the most football knowledgeable, faithful, most caring folks in the world, the Redskins faithful, our fans. We share this day with all of you here and all over the world, back home and everywhere else. God bless you. I'll say to you something that is somewhat unique, but before I do, I want to just say as well as I acknowledge. Bobby Bethan turned me over to Joe Gibbs. And he turned me over to Richie Pettibone. And he turned me over to my Hall of Fame buddy, Coach Jimmy Thomas. And later on, Coach Tom Hayes. And a real shout out to my good friend who helped me even from the offense, Terry Robiski. And I continue to move forward, continue to stand strong. But these are the men and women, the people, who've given me the opportunities to stand up here. They've given me the support to stand up here. And so as I prepare to close, folks, there's two things <clears throat> that I know. Number one, no matter how gifted you are, or how hard you work, there's no one willing to give you an opportunity doesn't mean a thing. Secondly, I believe that this day is a part of the continuation of God's sovereign purpose and righteous destiny for my life. And that being knowing Jesus, loving him, and making him known. I did that even as a professional football player everywhere I went. And that was done 
through the visibility, the influence, the access, all that God gives us, the Lord gives us while we play a childhood game. Can I tell you today, at the expense of sounding real, self-righteous, I belong here. I belong here. I belong here. I belong here because I know what to do with it. I know what to do with God's fame, with God's dollars, with God's visibility, God's influence, the relationships. I know what to do with it. To Jesus be the glory. Thank you. Bless you.